Hmm? Um, yeah. uh, we, you all have a diagram from the previous weeks, which is page number nine, which has written on top the alignment with and the efficient use of universal energy. It's a diagram which is similar to this diagram here. which helps us to understand the basic concept between, behind all of the techniques used in yoga and the concept of the way of life that we would like to live in order to have harmony and health in our lives. The basic concept is that there is one source. Imagine that this is the one divine eternal source of life energy which has always existed, even before the creation of the physical world, and will always exist. And that this energy uh, moves through, creates in, in a certain stent, extent, and moves through, expresses itself through all beings. This is a personal being here. So we can imagine this one light, or energy source, surrounded by billions of these types of boxes, which are persons or animals or plants which are receiving this energy and then expressing this energy into the physical world. Now, there is an aperture through which we receive this energy. We'll talk about that later. There are holes through which that energy flows off into other directions. There are certain blockages within our energy system which trap that energy and don't allow it to flow freely. And finally, there is the amount of energy which flows towards our life purpose. That each person, each incarnated being, has a life purpose. The amount of the energy of that being which is flowing towards that life purpose is limited. It's not all the energy that we're receiving. A great amount of energy is lost in various directions which do not give us much happiness or health or satisfaction in our lives. And a great deal of energy is absorbed and blocked within the system and are not allowed to flow freely. So let's discuss what those uh, wastages of energy, those losses of energies are, and what those blockages might be. They're written on your paper that you have there. Uh, we see that one source of loss of energy is overeating. It is by eating more than we need to eat, we actually lose energy trying to digest those foods. And when we eat more than we need, in general, there is a lethargy, there is a, uh, an a inertia which overcomes the body. The body becomes what we call tamasic, and gradually this person has less energy with which to live his life. Another source of loss of energy is talking too much. And this is why the two main spiritual practices for people on a spiritual path are not eating very much and not talking very much. There's a large amount of energy is lost by superficial communication, which does not really offer uh, something important to us or to other persons. Now, in a, an essential, intimate communication can offer us much energy. We're not talking about talking in general, but talking that we do in order to, to cover the silence, our fear of silence, our attempt to gain affirmation from other persons, uh, to get attention from other persons. To, all of this in a way, is a, a great loss of energy from our system without really offering us something essential. Another tremendous loss of vital energy is 
seeking after sensual pleasures, or in, in general, seeking after pleasure, happiness, or uh, security or affirmation outside of ourselves, because a whole lifetime can be consumed by a person trying to affirm his worthiness or trying to fulfill this emptiness which he feels in various ways by finding a, the, the perfect person or the perfect job or the perfect situation which will give him this. The reality is that we can never be fulfilled continuously by something outside of ourselves. It can only be temporary. And the reality is that we lose large portions of a whole lifetime seeking after something which can never be had externally. Externally, we can have short-term satisfaction, short-term happiness, but if we don't continue growing inwardly and developing an inner source of satisfaction and self sense of self-worth, we will never actually be happy. The fourth main cause of loss of energy is worry and fear, anxiety, in which the mind loses tremendous portions of energy, fearing that we will lose something, fearing that we will not obtain something, feeling danger, anxiety, and uh, this is a very exhausting uh, emotionally exhausting for the mind and for the body. So we have four uh, large uh, apertures through which much bioenergy is lost, too much eating, too much talking, too much worrying and anxiety, and too much seeking outside of ourselves for security, for affirmation, for satisfaction, and very little energy then is left to go towards the purpose of our incarnation, the purpose for which we, as spirit, have created this physical body. Each person has incarnated for a specific person, purpose. Each person purpose may differ in detail, but the main causes of incarnation are the desire for spiritual growth, the desire to learn, and the desire to serve to create. I mean, if there are three purposes in life for me anyway, it's evolution, it's creation, and it's offering, it's serving others. Of course, this can be done in, in millions of different ways. Every profession can do this. It's just that if the person who is doing it feels and approaches it in this way. One can teach children in this way, and one can teach children mechanically. One can farm in this way, one can build buildings in this way, one can raise a family in this way, or one can do all of this without feeling anything and not really putting himself into that. <coughs> so, there are also some blockages. Now, I would say that the two main blockages which prevent our vital energy from <coughs> going out are a lack of self-esteem, and a lack of self-confidence. When we doubt our worthiness, then we doubt our right to create and our right to manifest in the external world those things that we have within us. A very important aspect of creating and of manifesting the power within us is to feel pure, to feel that we are good. And many people block to a tremendous degree their creativity and their power because they do not feel pure enough. 